everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This week's hobby based card is this really beautiful Christmas scene. So it's looking through the window, which is the hobby based window die, which I'll show you in a moment, to this Christmas tree stamp. And then I've just kind of decorated, I guess, the window sill. Um, of the card. Now this was kind of my prototype, the one I was playing around with and I've done this on a 6x6 but I actually think the proportions are kind of out on this one so the one I'm going to be showing you is going to be smaller size and I'm going to kind of shrink some bits down again but I think I've just got too much here I think it needs to be a taller card so like a 5x7, um, A6, those kind of sizes so that's what we're going to work with next but it's really nice see I've just used my colour pencils there just to colour in the stamp in the back. I've also added this Miri card just to create some shine there. Um, I haven't put the sentiment on this one either because again I was kind of playing around with this one so we'll finish all that off during the tutorial. But yeah that is the style that we're going to be making today. So like I said I have now shrunk it down so I've got an A6 size pre-made card here. Okay so again you can make any size. A 5x7 will work nicely as well. So see what you've got and then just decide. Then you want to choose a layer to go on top. So I'm using this wood grain which is from a uh, first edition Christmas stack from last year but you can find these wood grains, wood um, brick, any kind of um, facade I guess um, detail is what you really want to be using for this style card. So I've just cut mine down just so it creates a nice little border all the way around the outside there. Okay, so again, it's entirely up to you. You want to might you might might want to add a darker mat and then have this style on top of that as well. So there's a lot of kind of options for this card. I'm really just kind of showing you the, the style and how I've put it all together. So before we stick this piece down, we need to use this die here. So this is the vintage window from Hobby Base, and it is it's lovely. You can use this all year round, but it does work really well for those Christmas cards. Now you do get the two kind of little window sills here as well but I'm not going to be using them today, I'm just going to be using the actual frame. All of the supplies will be linked below in my blog and also along there will be a little strip if you're watching this via Facebook and you'll be able to purchase via those links as well. So what you want to do is decide where you want this. Now I want this higher because here is where I'm going to have my sentiment and my kind of decoration here that I've done. So I'm just going to have it I guess about half an inch from the top there and then just pop some of my washi tape and just kind of make sure it's centered. She got equal sides here. Pop that down there. Okay, then I'm just going to bring in my big shot. Okay, so just quickly run that one through and get that cut. Okay, so it's just all fallen out there. So let me just take, I don't need to worry about that bit for the minute. There we go. So remove all these pieces. Now you don't actually, for this first piece, you don't need this bit here, but you may want to have your frame the same as your paper here. Okay, so obviously that's got the wood grain on. But what I'm going to do is I'm still going to keep this, but I'm now going to die cut this with um, two more. I can fit one more in here. You can see I've cut two there, but I need to cut two again. And um, I'm going to lift this up. Now you can use foam as well. I haven't actually got any white foam left, so I don't really want to use a black on this card. But I'm going to die cut it on this piece of white and then again, and then I've got this one. So I've got three pieces. But if you've got any white foam or any colour that is going to suit the card that you're using, obviously, cut the same frame on some foam. That will give you dimension because you can see here, can you see how this is raised up? Okay and that's what we're going to create. So I'm just going to get this cut out a couple more times. Okay, so I've got my three pieces here. So the wood grain one I'm going to, is going to be on the, the very bottom. So I'm just going to go around and just pop some, just a very, very thin layer, just a tiny little bead of glue. It's just to, you know, just to adhere it together. It doesn't need to be, you know, completely stuck, um, you know, on all the you know surface of that piece so just so it tacks to it is enough and then I'm just going to layer up that one and then the top one so you know I've gone for a PVC kind of uh, you know window frame but if you want to go for a nice wooden frame then you could die cut this in brown um, any colour you want so but I'm sticking with the white and again just pop a thin amount there and layer that up so now we've got a nice you know, 3D little die cut there. But you get the same look by using some fun foam as well. 
or just a really really thick card it's entirely up to you okay so you can just see there so now that is going to sit back inside there like so you can see we've got that nice little scene coming together so now what you want to do is grab your card base and don't worry about the window for the minute just this piece now sit it so that you've got it nice and even so you've got your border here and then with a the pencil I'm just going to very lightly just draw around it okay so if I just bring that up you can see now that I've just got that image of the the, the the outline of my window there so pop those two to one side now I'm bringing in a Christmas tree stamp this is just one from my stash it doesn't even fit on the block and I didn't want to get my stamping platform out because I only need to just do one image so I'm using some VersaFine here just so I get a nice crisp image but any anything you know you might want to have some people in your scene it's entirely up to you but I'm just going to ink up and it doesn't matter if it goes over because you're going to be covering up obviously everything apart from that window. So now I want to bring this in and bearing in mind your frame is about a quarter of an inch. Okay, So again it's coming in so I want to keep my star down a bit further just so you see it. But I'm now just going to stamp that down. I'm not too worried about the stamped image I get because I'm going to be covering up the star and this all gets coloured in anyway. It's really just kind of a, a guide for me. So there is my stamped image. Now again, just to do a little test, you can see now that is actually what you're going to see. And then your frame is going to be over the top again. You know, So a lot of it does get hidden. So now I'm going to start colouring it in. So I've just brought in just really a, just a random selection of my pencils here. And I'm not worrying about the star. First of all, I'm just going to go in. And the good thing about when you've got a detailed stamp like this, if I just zoom in a little bit closer for you. Okay. Is you can colour outside it. I don't want to. If you can see here, I haven't stuck within the lines at all because it's a, it's a Christmas tree, you know, it's, it's, I don't want it to look perfect. So first of all, I'm just really, you can see here, I'm really not taking too much care. I don't want to go over any of the um, kind of decorations because I am going to colour them in, obviously, different colours. And I just focus really on all the green at the minute. So I'm going to carry on and get all that done. Okay, so there is my Christmas tree all coloured in. So what I've also gone ahead and done is I've decided on my sentiment and I've just added it onto there. And actually, I think that does kind of frame it a bit better again. You can see there, it just looks really nice. We wish you a Merry Christmas. So I've also gone ahead and die cut all my little foliage kind of little bits here. I mean, if you've got a holly die, then, you know, perfect, because the holly would look really nice running along the bottom. I've got a bow here, which I'm going to find a little... Um, piece to put in the middle there. It's a little bit crooked that one. It's a pre-made one so I need to uh, sort that one out but anyway. And then I've just cut my little star there with the Merry card as well. So now we can start putting it all together. So first of all you want to rub out that pencil mark. Okay. If you're using the coloured pencils just be careful when you get to that bit because you don't want to smear the pencil which some may do. So just go around and just take that out and now that is going to sit. And all you need to do now is focus on your border to make sure it's all nice and centered. Now I haven't colored that bit there because actually when my frame goes in it covers it okay and I'm going to be covering the star so first of all I'm going to stick this down so I'm just using some wet glue but any um, you know double-sided tape will be fine just again don't need too much and then I'll start from the bottom make sure I've got an equal bottom and sides and then the rest will just fall into place like so. Now I want to add my star. Now you also might want to put some acetate and make this a shaker and if you know how you, you know what you're doing there then obviously you can do that but just by putting a sheet of acetate will give that more authentic kind of window look but again it's entirely up to you. Now that star is just the right size to cover the one underneath and I just think it's nice because it just adds that little bit of shine and then we want to stick our frame down so again not a lot of glue just enough to keep it in place and then just line up the bottom and it will fit in perfectly like a jigsaw like so yep just 
bring that up again there so you can see and you can see now that slightly raised dimension that it's got on the front of the card it looks really nice and now I just need to add my foliage now I'm going to cut this down I don't want it as big as it was so I'm just going to kind of just tear them all in half so I think now I've gone a bit uh, thinner on the side the width of my card I don't need to have them that big and then just pop a little bit of glue and just kind of build them up so depending on what you're using obviously everybody's will be slightly different and I'm just gonna kind of equal um, you know kind of mirror image it so I've got the same on each side so I'm just going to build that up okay so you can see now how I've stuck all that down and then I just need to attach my little bow here which I have just tidied up a little bit and that one's going to sit right in the middle it looks so cute and then get rid of that bit of glue and then my sentiment I've already popped on the back of some foam adhesive and that one is going to sit and go at the top, no I prefer it at the bottom again you can pop it at the top if you want and that is going to sit I think that needs to move across just a little bit still time to save it I'm trying to line it up with the window like so and there we go and then I've just got these flat back pearls and I'm just going to pop one of them right in the centre of my bow kind of looks a little bit like a berry is the, the idea there but again it just gives it another nice little touch but there you have it let me just bring that up a gorgeous card I love the shine actually from the coloured pencils can you just see on the tree there so it does almost look like a window you know like a you know sheet of acetate you get this shine from the the star there you've got all this texture and dimension it's just a really lovely card. So there it is in two completely different styles in terms of size. So you've got the six by six and then also the smaller A6 size as well. So I think they both look really nice. I think this one's maybe, its proportions are a little bit better, but I still think that one's got quite a nice look about it as well. So yeah, there you have it. So like I said, uh, the dye links will be shared below in the description and the supplies and stuff will also be shared on my blog. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's hobby based card and I will be back again next week. Thanks for watching. Bye!